How's everybody doing today? So I wanted to make a quick video talking about another Bible story. So there's a story and it talks about a farmer. It's a very good farmer. The guy knows how to take care of his crops and how to you know, prepare the soil and plant. And he's a really good farmer. And so he goes out one day and he plants a bunch of wheat. And it says that uh, that night, his rival, his adversary, the person that he's competing against basically comes in at nighttime and plants a bunch of thistles in the guy's garden and if you don't know what thistles are they're a type of weed it's a weed that's like a um a vine and this vine will wrap around any kind of product and they'll choke it and they'll take um the nutrients for themselves a short time passes and the farmer sees what has happened he sees that there's now thistles mixed in with his wheat. And he has a really difficult decision to do. He knows that if he lets the thistle stay in there, it's going to choke his wheat and it's going to take nutrients from it. So the, the wheat's not going to grow as much fruit. It's not going to grow as much grain. It's not, going to, it's not going to grow as well. It's not going to be enough product coming off of it. But if he removes the thistles, it's going to suck up, it's going to pull up the weeds of the wheat with it. So he decides to go ahead and let them both grow side by side. And when it's time for harvest, he's going to go ahead and pull out his wheat and pull out the thistles as well. And the story kind of has a dual, um, it's kind of like a dual parable, where it's saying that sometimes as a Christian, it's hard to grow fruit. It's hard to do something positive. And so God understands that sometimes the enemy has put thistles in your life to suffocate and to suck out, take your nutrients. And so though you do bear fruit, you don't you don't bear as much as you really like to. And God understands that because sometimes the adversary will attack people like that. But it's also got an end time prophecy as well, saying that um, at the end of days you're gonna have wheat, which are Christians and you're going to have thistles, which are non-Christians. And when it's time for the harvest, when it's time for the rapture, God's going to separate the wheat for the tares, or the thistles. And the wheat's going to go to the banquet, and the weeds are going to go to the fire. So the question is today, are you a wheat or are you a thistle? Are you a wheat or a weed? Are you there to choke out the Christians, to destroy Christians? To make Christians bow, bow down to you, to take their nutrients? Or are you wheat It's a really hard-working Christian trying to produce fruit, trying to produce uh, something for the banquet? Anyways, guys, that's the video. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a, put a link right here to another video. If you want to subscribe, just uh, click this right here to subscribe. It might, might be over there. I don't know, one of these two places. Um, and so, And comment below and tell me, are you a weed or a weed? Are you there to grow, to help God, and to grow fruit? Or are you there to hurt others, to suffocate Christians? And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Like I said, you can, you can click right here to click one of my other videos and check it out. And I'll see you guys next time. Have yourself a great day.